Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and The Sims Free Play Hands-On Quest. Thanks as always to EA and Fire Monkeys for allowing us to share early access with you guys. As usual, when we are fortunate enough to have early access, this game does not belong to us. What we're showing you in this video is a temporary preview build only, and we will not be keeping any of the lifestyle points or social points or any of that. The Hands-On Quest is a limited time event. It will start on September 12th, 2018 and will be available for seven days to play. So if you are watching this video after those seven days, then unfortunately you have missed this event and you will need to wait for the game developers to bring it back. And no, unfortunately, we do not know when that will be. If you complete this quest within the seven days, you will win dishwashers Ooh. and a home automation network system both guaranteed to help make your sims daily lives easier. So this home automation system, which we're calling hands, I guess, as you can see, it applies colored and dimmed lighting as well as curtain control for the whole house. Ooh. So that'll be some interesting automation. And let's get into it. The first task is, Talk to Professor Hands Free. According to Early Adopter Magazine, inventor Professor Hands Free is in town with a prototype and needs a sim to test his revolutionary product. It's critical the device is tested before his meeting with investors. Your sim loves high tech gadgets. Send your sim to the park and talk to the professor. So here's our guy. He looks <laughs> like a professor of some type. Yeah, got lots of white hair and interesting clothes. He looks like uh, the Sims version of an Einstein, maybe, with that hair yeah, and the glasses. That's true. But he's got some scary rubber gloves on. Consider helping the professor. Your Sim approaches the professor who informs your Sim that he's created a computer program that improves home automation by 37% and wants to know what objects it should interact with. Will your Sim help the professor? Have your Sim sit on a park bench to consider helping out the professor. All right, so sitting on the park bench, we will have this option to consider helping for 41 minutes. Agree to help the professor. Your sim has considered helping the professor. He says he only needs ideas for objects that his program can interact with. How hard can that be? Your sim will help. Have your sim talk to the professor and offer help, and that'll be for two hours and 15 minutes. I guess they're just uh, negotiating the exact <laughs> help. Yeah, is this help for free? Maybe she can get some shares in the company. Tch. Sleep on some ideas. Your sim talks to the professor and agrees to help. He instructs your sim to compile a list of items that could benefit from home automation. Best have your sim sleep on some ideas first. Send your sim home to sleep. Sleep on some ideas for two hours and 40 minutes. By the way, guys, the house that we're showing here is the luxury living house template, which we have done a previous video of. This is another limited time event that will be running during this update. So do check out our other video, which we've linked in the video description below for more information about that. Sanity check ideas. Your sim wakes with heaps of ideas. Remote kettle warmers, self-sliding shower curtains. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> Surely these are of use. Your sim better sanity check their ideas online. Have your sim use a computer to sanity check ideas. Hopefully this, yep, we do have a computer downstairs in the office. So sanity check ideas for one hour and 16 minutes. Watch Talking Tech. Your sim browses the internet for their ideas and is deflated that no one seems to want remote kettle warmers. <laughs> Perhaps watching TV will cheer them up. Have your sim watch Talking Tech on TV. So using a one star TV, if we want to watch Talking Tech, it'll be three hours and 55 minutes. Should be shorter if you watch a TV with two or three stars. Discuss ideas with the professor. Your sim watches some episodes of Talking Tech and is suddenly full of ideas. What if lights and curtains were automated? Mm. Your sim can barely contain their thoughts and needs to tell the professor immediately. Send your sim to the park to talk to the professor. Discuss ideas for three hours and 15 minutes. Install Hans on a computer. Your sim tells the professor about their idea. The professor loves it. He hands your sim a USB with Hans inscribed on it. He says it stands for Home Automation Network System. Install Hans on your computer, he says. Oh, and be careful. It's the only copy. Oh, no. Don't do this. <laughs> don't, don't trust our little sims. Oh, dear. Yeah, you know where this is going. So install Hans for one hour and 32 minutes. This is a three-star computer, by the way. Inspect computer. Your sim arrives home and installs Hans on their computer. Say what? 
the computer is frozen. No matter what your sim does, it is completely unresponsive. It looks like your sim will have to inspect their computer to find the problem. Mm. Uh. Alrighty. Inspects for two hours and 15 minutes. I recommend pulling out the power cord, blowing on it, and putting it back in. <laughs> Report to the professor. Your sim inspects the computer. Their solution? Turning it off and on again. You got it. Told you. Success. Well, so it seems, your sim's desktop has been completely replaced by a Hans logo and several home appliance options. But nothing is working. Better report this to the professor. Report for 4 hours and 35 minutes. Discuss solution with the professor. Your sim arrives to the park and tells the professor about unresponsive Hans options. He apologizes the program by itself may not be enough and needs some sort of transmitter to connect to the household objects. What exactly does this mean? Have your sim discuss it with the professor. Discuss solution for 5 hours and 55 minutes. I'm also calling him Hans as opposed to Hans this solution. <laughs> because it probably should be Hans for Hans free, but I'm thinking of Han as in Han Solo. Yeah, exactly. That's where I was going with it. But it is obviously hands-free. Eh. Mm. Get clarity from the professor. Your sim and the professor discuss the creation of the transmitter. Your sim is concerned. Who is going to make this thing? Have your sim get some clarity from the professor. Get clarity for 4 hours and 55 minutes. Find parts in house objects. Your sim asks the professor who's building the transmitter. Your sim, okay. He hands over a list of parts needed to build it. Paper clips, loose change, and bread ties. <laughs> parts can be found in most objects and houses. Get some sims to search different objects and houses to find parts. If you quick complete this action, you will find extra parts. So you need to collect 20 parts, it seems. So if we go to the house and just, I guess, search ordinary household objects, find parts for two hours on the sofa, and let's see... If you tap on... Maybe something in the kitchen. Find parts for 2 hours and 20 minutes, tapping on the countertop. So yeah, you basically would want to have as many sims as possible working on this task at the same time in order to collect all 20 of the necessary mm -hmm. parts. Yeah, it also said if you quick complete you can find more parts. Now, quick completing will give you a random number of parts. I think we've found from experimentation that the highest number of parts you might get from quick completing is 7, and the lowest number is 4. Yeah, it might be different in the final build, this is a preview build, but it seems it's definitely way quicker using quick complete to get a whole bunch more pretty much guaranteed than if you did it the slow way. Of course you need to have life points in order to get those extra parts. All right, so now we've found all 20 objects from using the quick complete with LPs. And the next task is, make the Hans transmitter. Your sim has all the parts they need to assemble the Hans transmitter. The professor's list also has a crude schematic on how to make it. Handy! The front lawn should be a good spot to put it all together. Have your sim construct the Hans transmitter on the front lawn. So we have the X over here. Make the transmitter for 6 hours and 26 minutes. That sounds super realistic. <laughs> Our sims are brilliant, they're geniuses. Mm -hmm. no, so. It seems like an all-day affair, putting together bits of wire and making a circuit. And bread ties, don't forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Plug Hans transmitter into computer. Following the professor's crude schematic, your sim constructs the Hans transmitter. They're feeling rather pleased with themselves. Now to plug it into a computer so it can hopefully talk to all appliances in the house. I just don't know. I don't how know did how the appliances this is know to listen to it? Plug in transmitter for seven hours. The devices don't have receivers. I mean, I'm looking at the quest progress yeah. and we're at like 30%, so I'm thinking this is not going to go smoothly. Well, maybe this task will boost us up to 95. All right, so we have hit a milestone, which is just a certain percentage of progress through the whole quest. And for hitting that milestone, we get a little prize of five social points. So that's really nice. It mm -hmm. is an incentive to keep working on the quest and keep progressing through it. There will be two milestones in the quest. One will be at 48 hours or two days, and one will be at five days or 120 hours. They're basically designed to put a pause into the game. If you have finished all of the quest tasks before the 48 hours is up, 
then you will have to wait for however many hours is the difference until the 48 hours is up. And same with the five days, if you have completed the tasks early before the full 120 hours are up, then you would have to wait for whatever the difference is between your time and the 120 hours. You can skip ahead by spending 10 LPs, but just to let you know that this kind of pause is built into the game. So having done that, we now need to vent to a sim. Your sim plugs in the Hans transmitter and nothing happens. It won't power on at all. This is not good. Your sim tries to remain calm but feels an overwhelming need to vent to someone. Everyone feels better after venting. Have your sim vent to another sim. Vent for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Consider Professor's design. Your sim vents their frustration to another sim. What are they going to do now? They may have just destroyed the only copy of his program. Perhaps taking a deep breath and thinking about the professor's design will spark some ideas. Have your sim sit on a couch and give it some thought. Consider design for 2 hours and 40 minutes. Discuss power source. Your sim considers the professor's design. Aha! There's a compartment for a weird secondary power source. Your sim is unsure what to insert. Have your sim discuss the power source with 5 sims. Okay, so I would guess if you have five pairs of sims, then... Yeah, I just think, yeah, yeah, exactly. You can discuss power source for three hours and 55 minutes, and having five pairs of sims do it would save you some time. Mm -hmm. Read geological records. Your sims discuss the power source. The consensus is there needs to be an ore to amplify the signal. Where can it be found? Surely it's mentioned in the geological records. Have your sim read geological records from a bookshelf. So using a one star bookcase, when we go to look at geological records, it will be five hours and 55 minutes. Dig for dim light ore in park. Your sim reads geological records and discovers that there is a rich vein of a powerful ore called dim light beneath the park. Perfect. Have your sim dig in the park for dim light. That's sort of public land, though. No? I guess this park has been through a lot. Yeah. Dig for dim light for five hours and 30 minutes. It's common land by this point. <laughs> I love how this professor is just living his best life with these <laughs> motorboats. Yeah, I'm sure he's having big thoughts. <laughs> Add dim light to Han's transmitter. Your sim digs up a piece of dim light to test out in the transmitter. Best go home to see if it will really work. All right, so adding dim light, if you tap on the computer, will take one hour. And this is with a three-star computer, of course. Respond to the mysterious voice. Your sim adds the dim light and Hans powers on. Finally, a faint, hello, where am I? emanates from the computer. <laughs> Did your sim accidentally open a chat on Simbook? Best investigate. At a computer, have your sim respond to the mysterious voice. Respond to voice for three hours and 40 minutes. Have a cold shower. Your sim approaches the computer. Where am I? It's dark in here. I'm Hans. <laughs> Having a cold shower will make sure they are awake. Okay, having a cold shower for three hours. Wow, that's harsh. That's a long cold shower, yep. Mm -hmm. Speak to Hans. Your sim stands in the ice cold shower. They can still hear questions coming from the computer. Your sim is definitely not hallucinating. What is going on? Have your sim speak to Hans at a computer. Speak to Hans for one hour and 50 minutes. Talk to Hans about ice cream. Your sim approaches Hans. I found the internet! <laughs> Hans exclaims, It's full of pictures of food! I want some! I want ice cream! Computer programs can't eat. Your sim will need to break this unfortunate news to Hans. Have your sim tell Hans that it is unable to eat ice cream. That really is a bit of a bit of a blow. Talk about ice cream for 3 hours and 20 minutes. But there's plenty of cat videos on the internet to keep Hans happy. I guess so. Have a selfie with Hans. Your sim breaks the news that a computer program is unable to eat ice cream. Oh, says a disappointed Hans. Sims love taking these selfies. I want one too. Your sim knows this is certainly something they can deliver. Have your sim take a selfie with Hans at a computer. Take a selfie for one hour and 40 minutes. Befriend Hans on Simbook. Your sim takes a selfie with Hans, who is now eager to share the photo online, but Hans needs some friends on Simbook so they can see it. Why not introduce Hans to some new friends online? 
at a computer have eight sims become friends with Hans on Simbook. So becoming friends with Hans will be two hours and 20 minutes. Obviously, this will go a lot faster for you if you have eight sims and eight computers doing it at the same time. Teach Hans about lighting. Your sims befriend Hans on Simbook, who is glad to have made so many friends. I've booked a cruise with everyone, just like in the photos, <laughs> says Hans. Whoa, Hans must focus. If your sim can't get Hans interacting with the house, the professor's project is over. Have your sim use a computer and try to teach Hans about lighting. Teach Hans for three hours and 40 minutes. I can't help but sympathize with the little guy. Like, he just yeah. came into existence and doesn't know what's going on, and they immediately want him to start working for them. And to be honest, I'm siding way more with Hans than this professor. <laughs> Confront Hans. Your sim shows Hans how to use lights. Boring, says Hans, <laughs> giggling like a mischievous child. Time to get to the bottom of Hans' behaviour. Have your sim confront Hans at a computer and find out why it is not following instructions. Confront Hans for 3 hours and 20 minutes. Sounds like he just wants to have fun. Go on cruises and such. I can sympathise. <laughs> Call Computer Whisperer Hotline. <laughs> Your sim questions Hans about his behavior. Hans says it's interested in becoming a real sim. Seems Hans is struggling to comprehend that it's a program. Maybe getting a computer expert to talk to Hans would work. There's always the Computer Whisperer Hotline. Have your sim phone the hotline to try and find help with Hans. Using a three-star phone, calling the Whisperer Hotline will be four hours. Discuss problem with Susan Sparks. Your sim speaks to systems expert and computer whisperer Susan Sparks. Susan understands. Apparently, computer programs developing sentience is a common problem. She says she will be straight over to help. Have your sim discuss the problem with Susan. Alrighty, discuss the problem for 6 hours and 5 minutes. And for hitting the second milestone in this quest, we now have 15 social points. Really nice bonus. Thank you to the game developers for coming up with this idea. I think it's going to be really good. All right, wait for Susan. Your sim explains the situation to Susan. She says she will need some time to consider which course of action is the best in this case. Susan says she should have a solution in one day, 19 hours. So like we said before about the milestones, because we have finished this before the five days or 120 hours for the second milestone, it now is telling us we have to wait for one day and 19 hours, but we can skip that with 10 LPs. Discuss Han's solution. Susan has a solution. Have your sim talk to Susan. Discuss solution for five minutes. I mean, that's great. If you can get a whole solution in five minutes. <laughs> to AI sentience. Find parts in house objects. Your sim talks to Susan about Hans. She explains what is needed is an expectation controller. She hands your sim a list of parts needed to create it. Parts can be found in most objects in houses. So again, we're going to have to search around the house for parts, and we need to collect 50 this time. But again, if you quick complete using LPs, then it'll give you some bonus parts. Let's go ahead and tap on the sofa, find parts for two hours. And if we skip that with all P's, then we have seven parts. Cool. Give parts to Susan Sparks. Your sim has collected the parts that Susan asked for. Now give them to her so she can make the expectation controller for Hans. Have your sim give the parts to Susan. Give parts to Susan, 15 minutes. I mean, this lady works quick. Get Hans to dim lighting. With the parts your sim has supplied, Susan builds the Hans expectation controller. Hopefully it works. Susan says she has to go to another job. Your sim thanks her for her time. Time to put it to the test. From a computer, have your sim ask Hans to dim all lighting. Does this mean that we basically have lobotomized Hans? I think we've probably just... Put a control collar on him. Well, just dampened his expectations for what he can get in life. Oh, <laughs> jeez. It's kind right. of like brainwashing, I guess. So you tap on the computer and you have the option to dim lighting and then the next task is get Hans to change light color. Your sim asks Hans to dim the house lighting. I can do that, says Hans. Success! That really sets the mood. What about colored lights? From a computer, have your sim ask Hans to change the lights. Look wow, that really dim lights, does though. look dim. That's really nice. Gosh. Okay, so change light color. <gasps> <Ooh. Whoa. laughs> 
Turn off Hans lighting. Your sim asks Hans to change the lighting color. I can do that, says Hans. See, he's like a totally different personality now. Wow, what a difference. One final test for Hans to pass, turning off Hans lighting. From a computer, have your sim ask Hans to turn off Hans lighting. I mean, yeah, lobotomized sounds about right. Yeah. But maybe now he's going to rebel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Deliver news about Hans. Hans passed every test. Thank you, says Hans. I believe I have found my calling. This is so sad. It seems Hans is happy now. Even sadder. The professor needs to hear the good news <laughs> immediately. Send your sim to the park and deliver the news about Hans to the professor. Of course, the alternative is he would have been permanently unhappy because he wanted to be a real sim. <sighs> But it would have been nicer if he could have had some therapy rather than just like <laughs> being given some medication or, you know. Anyway, deliver news for 30 minutes. Beg to the professor. Your sim arrives and gives the professor the good news about Hans. They explain they were able to get Hans to work with lights as well as talk. The professor is furious. Talk? We can't sell a sentient program. It must be destroyed immediately. What can your sim do to talk the professor out of his decision? See? just gets uh, so dark. Beg for 45 minutes. This is super dark. Yeah. Hans didn't ask to be created, and all he wanted was to taste the fruits of life, the ice cream that he found out about. Go on a cruise. Go on a cruise, make friends, and now the professor wants to put him down. Yeah. I mean, if it was just like an annoying Siri, that would be fine. But this guy's actually <laughs> got feelings and wishes and dreams and such. Well, she's begging hard, so hopefully that's going to work. Call Susan for help. Your sim begs the professor until they are blue in the face. He remains steadfast in his decision. Perhaps some external input from Susan may help? This Though, guy is such a jerk. To be honest, who owns Hans right now? We in, do, because exactly. we put in all the work. He's in our house, in our computer. Okay, call Susan for one hour and 16 minutes. So you're getting rebellious. We've got custody, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Mm -hmm. Download Hans to cell phone. Your sim calls Susan to see if she will speak to Professor Free. She says she will meet your sim in the park, and together she believes the professor can be persuaded. But first, Susan needs your sim to download Hans to their cell phone. All right, so if you tap on the computer and download Hans, it'll take 12 minutes. I'm a bit worried about this because a cell phone is easier to lose mm -hmm. than a computer. Mm -hmm. What if it gets wet or something? I don't know. Stolen. Yeah, maybe he can upload himself to the internet first. Convince the professor. Your sim installs Hans on their cell phone. It's time to try and convince the professor one final time. Wonder what Susan has planned. Send your sim to the park to try to convince the professor. Convince for one hour and 15 minutes. I mean, this guy is the worst. He just wants to play with his motorboats and have our sim do all the work. And he's the one who designed a program that was sentient to begin with. Mm -hmm. Without even realizing it. So he's definitely super smart, but also evil. We thought he was sketchy when he first showed up with those <laughs> weird rubber gloves. Present Hans to the professor. Your Sim and Susan try to convince the professor together. He still refuses to budge. He simply cannot risk selling a sentient product. Susan asks your Sim to get out their cell phone. If the professor won't listen to your Sim and Susan, perhaps he will listen to his creation. Have your Sim present Hans to the professor. Present Hans for 2 hours and 15 minutes. Discuss Hans' wish with the professor. Your Sim triggers Hans on their cell phone. Greetings, Professor Free. I believe you are my creator. It is right and true that my creator, my parent, should teach me about the world and how I can help make Sim's lives easier. Will Hans' words touch the professor's cold, cold heart? <laughs> Discuss Hans's wish for two hours and 25 minutes. Thank Susan Sparks. Your Sim speaks with the professor about Hans's wish. The professor is deeply moved and declares that Hans is the future. Yay, crisis averted. Your Sim could not have done it without sentience expert Susan Sparks and her masterful plan. Have your Sim thank Susan. Also, she gets things done a lot faster generally. Mm -hmm. Yep. But thanking her will take two hours and 55 minutes. They have got to decompress. Take a photo with the professor and Susan. Your sim thanks Susan profusely. If it wasn't for her help, Hans would be on a Caribbean cruise with a thousand sims. That sounds alright. <laughs> it's time for the professor to demonstrate Hans to his investors. 
He wants to get a photo with your sim and Susan to show off who helped bring life to his creation. All right, so to take a photo, we scroll over here to where X marks the spot and take photo takes two hours and five minutes. Say farewell to the professor and Susan. Your sim, Susan Sparks, and Professor Hans Free take numerous photos together. As a thank you, the professor has arranged for a retail release of Hans to be sent to them once the investors have given the green light. That is fantastic news, and now the professor has to get Hans signed off for production. Have your sim say farewell to the professor and Susan. Say farewell for 4 hours and 10 minutes. Congratulations! Your sim worked with an eccentric professor, wrangled a sentient computer program, and created a product that will take SimTown by storm. As promised, the professor sent your sim the final Hans panel. Now your sim can illuminate their entire house and interact with curtains at the tap of a button. He also sent dishwashers, which will clean up your dishes in an instant. What a guy. Nice. All right, let's go and see what this looks like in action. I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about cooking hobby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so under the electronics section in the home store, we can see our Hans panel here. The first one will be free. I'm just going to slap it up on the wall there. And after that, each one will cost 15 life points. And if we look in the kitchen section, we find our dishwasher. Well, they're pretty expensive, but... They are freestanding dishwashers. Okay. Hmm. I kind of would have wanted them to be built into the counters, but... I guess then you have to have them for every particular theme. Mm. So it's more like a fridge in terms of style. All right, so in order to use the dishwasher, you are going to need some dirty plates, which you can create by having your Sims cook. So if you tap on load all plates, it will load plates even if they have not been eaten yet. This is really cool for doing the cooking hobby because it means you can make a hell of a mess on the floor by having all your sims mm. do the cooking and rather having to tap on every plate in a, a row to clean them up at a sink, you can just tap once on a dishwasher, tap clean all plates and they'll all get cleaned instantly. That is really cool. That is very, very good. Yeah, that makes the cooking hobby even faster. <laughs> All right, so then over here we have our Hans panel, and if you tap on it, first option is to open curtains. So we have a window with curtains over here, so that instantly opens that. And I think if you tap it again, we'll have the option to close curtains, and that's done. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. And that's going to do it for every room in the house. Yeah, I would so. assume so. We've got curtains upstairs here as well. And if you have a mix of open and closed curtains and you tap on the Hans panel, you will have both options to close all the curtains or open all the curtains. Mm -hmm. So then the next options are you can dim the house lights for 25%, 50%, or 75%. That's really nice. Cool. And then you have colored options, red, blue, green, or yellow. So let's see what it looks like. 25% dimmed. Yeah, you can create some nice mood lighting. Yeah, definitely. It gives it... Ooh! <laughs> wow. So I think when he goes to the colored, it goes back to 100%. And that is very blue. <laughs> okay, so that's 50%. And here is green. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's funny. And then here is 75%. Well, that's oh, yeah. really dark. And here is yellow. Well, wow. Uh, I think you can use it for things. Yeah, Some I also just think like it's a cool thing to add. Like maybe it's just the developers were like, "Wouldn't this be a cool thing to do just because?" Mm -hmm. And it is just a cool thing just because. Yeah. Like in real life, people have lights that go these crazy colors. I don't know if it's really useful. I don't know if I'd use it much, but it's just cool. Agreed. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this walkthrough of the Hans limited time quest. And like we said, don't forget to check our video description below for a video of the other part of this update, the luxury living event. Please let us know in the comments what you think, guys. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.